Final issue number six. This is the climatic moment. Anti-He-Man is ready to wage war. <clears throat> Each door is a link to another world, another world in which you have viewed for the orb of horrors. So we have Anti-He-Man. He's got these zombies. He's got these zombies. Um, Today, spirits of Castle Grayskull, you will prove yourselves to be its greatest converts. And these are the zombies. I don't know what the fuck these are, but they're there. And it's up to Keldor to do his job. So Keldor is half Skeletor, half Keldor. Um, and you've got his brother. You know a magical person who gets the spell. Uh, so what's happening now is that we had a sorceress, but she denied anti-truth. So wait until she turned into a bird. And then we cooked her on a spit. Oh, that's sad. It's it's up to him. So it's up to him now. It's him by himself. Uh, we got evil. You got evil Orko right there. So you got evil Orko. You got Buzz off. You got Tila. Um, Hail. So he's going to summon somebody. And look who he summons. Hail King Randork. For justice, for revenge. And there you can see King Randor. And there's a... Uh, Beastman, you got Lynn, you got everybody here. Web Store. This is just like the good guys are the bad guys, the bad guys are the good guys. There's Panthor, his loyal steed. Um, everything is different. Everything has changed around. Um, and Keldor tries to do the right things. I'm sorry, Randor, it's only half a power sword, but it's enough to show he, me where anti-He-Man is. But you've lost your wife and daughter and son, your kingdom. I won't let you lose your life. So it's the forces of nature here. It feels like the last. It feels like the final scenes of uh, Doom. That was a Doom Annihilation. That was like a not a great movie. Uh, again, so they're fighting each other. Um, this is like a bit of a Mortal Combat. Oh, like a and like the villain you've lost. See how the spirits are gathering. Uh, and this is his ultimate form here. Uh, I don't know who this is. I oh, can't, can't tell. The combined forces of subsumed Eternias destroying all resistance. This is the King He-Man. And da 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 da. What could that be? And this. The power, the power, da da. This is like, this is like 2021 He-Man. We've arrived now as I have taught you. He, Sol, Sak, Very, Valiant, Tina, Hira, Platino, Hiwo. Engage the spirits. This is like 2021 He-Man, right? But obviously it's not. What, what Prince Adam did in the new cartoon is he shared his power with everybody, with uh, the new Tila, the new Man at Arms. So it's just like the CGI cartoon, but this is, not, this is not the 2021 cartoon because this was made a couple of years before that ever came out. Nobody knew what that was going to be about. It was a surprise. So you got these warriors fighting, taking down everyone. And then look, look who's here. It's uh, your portal, Phil. So you got the 80s, he, a Filmation He-Man. Uh, I've, I've got it by the power of Grayskull. So he's fighting too. You got 2021 He-Man here. And this is actually the same He-Man from the end of the, uh, the 2013 comic. Uh, you got this one here. You got all these characters. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's sharing the power. Because it's more important to share the power. Now as King Adam... As, as I, and I have planned, your swords are partially charged receptacles. There's room to draw the spirits into them. Yes, sir, annoyingly chipper He-Man. I just call him Filmation He-Man, because why can't you call him that? Um, and then we'd be fighting even more bad guys, right, men at arms? Yeah, that's right, Orko. Why don't those, that's why those who don't seek power are usually the best ones to have it. Um, men at arms, look. Okay, so there's anti-He-Man. A bit of a fight here. So everyone's everyone's gathered together. My he force. And then they're fighting one more time. By the power I was becoming He Man by the gods. So here he is. It's Keldor as He Man. And the spirits will be gone. I don't know. I don't understand much of this multiverse stuff. I know what it was like, anti He Man. A thousand spirits flow through my body, and soon they flew out of it. And along with your, along with your blood, die upon my black blade. And there's Panthor. Panthor knocks anti-He-Man into the abyss. And uh, that's it. And that's, that's it. What did you do? 
I held aloft the magic sword. I said the magic words. And the secrets were revealed to me. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot going on. So you see, everybody's turned back to normal. Uh, my king, my king, I was, uh, I, my God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. So there's Tila back to normal. And I think that is anti-He-Man. He's turned back into Adam. Uh, the power, the chance to be something more than a bumbling, philandering prince, to be more than a disappointment. I couldn't resist, uncle. But the dark gods just used me. I neglected Adam to become a champion for their revenge. They made me do terrible things, anti-truth. It was just a lie. I mean, all of this book is just a lie, isn't it? And um, we go to the end. So what happened then? So days have passed. They talk, they laugh. So here you have, this is Keldor's universe. Here's the Filmation universe. Happy Orkaloween. I don't know what that's about. Um, he turned home with his friends, got up the rest of the power swords and began assigning them to different personally chosen disciples to replace the ones he had forged. Um, so different people have taken the power. Those champions were sent to worlds ravaged by anti-He-Man to help rebuild their castle, Grayskull. So you got Black He-Man. Each new hero was ready to defend those these keeps against threats uh, both old and new. You got another He-Woman or whatever. Um, you got this sort of, uh, this is the uh, meme universe, the comic strip universe, uh, as well as ensure the legend of He-Man lives on. Um, some of the ancient power moved on to previously undiscovered Eternias, and some enraged and newly born Eternias, where the legend of He-Man might begin anew. Uh, and then, now well, there's not much left, but interesting. Yeah, well, the Palace Guard, now I'm ready to remember. Uh, free former. I can return to be a bumbling philandering prince and who dis disappoints his brother, the, the king. Philandering. Well, if I'm honest, I'm a bit too busy studying magic to philander more than one woman at a time. It's Screech. The king warns of trouble. Well, it's a world devastated set up by years-long war. Sometimes even the palace guard isn't quite enough. In fact, sometimes even anti attorney needs a He-Man. We can all have the power. So that's the message that is prophetic for the 2021 cartoon, not Revelation, of course. Um, He-Man Master Universe. So this is the end of it. And we can see some of the... Uh, I'll get my final thoughts. Um, looking back at all this stuff. There's Skeletor. There's some concepts. Hera, right? There's... I have this figure somewhere, I think. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me see if I... I have a lot of things in this house. But, um, yeah. There's this figure. Let's see. I, don't, I bought this, like... A long time ago, but um, that was uh, without the shield, without the sword. But you can put blasting caps in it. Um, uh, Valentina. Um, Platino. You got uh, Battle Cat as uh, a warrior. He soul. Right to Mattel, you can get all these figures made again. Uh, Prince Keldor, He Man. Uh, there's all kinds. There's all kinds of variants. All these things here. We got more, more of these things. These are all concept art. Um, how it's all done. There's the omnibus. There's more stuff. Thundercats. This is where his secret was revealed. Injustice. Um, it was a fun trip to go through all this. It, yeah, there's not a lot of lore. Um, yeah, the the most important comic books were the ones I showed you and then the mini comics that came with the figures way back then in which you kind of learn about each character and where they come from, like Extendar and Dragstore and Mechanek. Um, little things like that. You could you can learn about each character, but there's not a lot of lore. Like with Star Wars, there is. Marvel, yes. DC Comics, of course. Um Sonic the Hedgehog, definitely, if you go back to Archie Comics, right? And the weird, like, plot holes in that. But He-Man, there's not a whole lot. Um, you have, I mean, what I'm going to try to do is I'll try to organize all of these into one uh, playlist before anybody else does. And that way you'll have, um, you know, you can watch this back to back to back. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing this. Uh, sometimes I got bored because I'm like, am I reading this out loud or am I telling, you know, but it's... 
it's mostly the journey of how Eternia went from in ancient times with Hordak and King Grayskull to Keldor to He-Man, uh, Prince Adam and He-Man, uh, the final battles, and then uh, this bonus stuff, this bonus level of uh, storytelling in which you just, you don't even think about it, you just, you just don't even think about it, you have fun with it. Um, this was recommended, you know, because I, I saw the other books. So I'll tonight I'm going to celebrate the 10th anniversary of something I did 10 years ago and um, talk a bit about that and uh, we'll go on from there. And thank you. I made it to 1,000 subscribers. Maybe I'll do a live post soon.